When is the last time you stopped to pick up a penny? Yeah, the purchasing power of a penny has dwindled to nearly nothing over the years, so it's probably been a while. My dear friend Kristen gave me a bracelet for Christmas. It's a simple bracelet, a silver chain with a penny in the center. The penny was minted in the year I was born. Did you know that approximately five to 10 billion pennies are minted each year? That's like 50 to 100 million dollars in pennies. Now this penny on my bracelet does not have much monetary value, but it means a lot to me. Although all of the pennies minted in the year I was born are worth a lot. I relate this to the value of the voice of one person offering up their story to shift how we think. While one person's story may seem to have little value, many people sharing their story, their experiences of transformation and change, that has power. That has immense value. Hello, my name is Heather Cunningham, and I'm the National Training Director at Think Tank. Our organization exists to tell the human story of poverty, because all people have value, and their stories matter. We bring dignity and opportunity to those living under poverty, social and economic burdens. Now, all of us listening today could probably list the barriers of those impacted by poverty. The list is long. But beyond all of those barriers are human beings. People who know the realities of poverty should be in a leadership seat to tackle the problem. When these leaders are given the opportunity to share their story, not just to stir emotion, but to shape solutions, meaningful change happens. Think Tank provides platform to these leaders. I remember the time that we partnered with a local group to influence payday lending legislation. We convened state legislators, organizations, and people impacted by the predatory effects of payday lending. Folks courageously stood in a community forum and shared their testimonies. One woman shared that if it wasn't for a payday lending loan, she wouldn't have been able to pay her rent and could have become homeless. Now, using a payday lender isn't just about poor financial choices. In fact, it's about surviving. It's a short-term decision. It's a choice to avoid the likelihood of a worst-case scenario. The voice of this woman and so many others helped folks better understand the realities of poverty and pass meaningful legislation to curtail payday lending. This moment provided an opportunity to bridge the distance, a space for proximity. Now, I would say, you know, we, we work with groups and organizations to see each other's humanity first. But we're not an advocacy organization. I would say Think Tank is an amplifying organization. Whether it be policy change, community, or changes in hearts and minds, people are at the center of our work. Our signature training is the Cost of Poverty Experience, COPE, an interactive simulation that helps folks 
better understand the realities of poverty beyond lack of material resources. Participants take on the identity of a person navigating the realities of poverty. To create this training, we worked with a core group of families who we had trusted relationships with. We asked these families to not only share their experiences with us, but allow us to use their stories to create the COPE family profiles. We facilitated about 1,000 COPE simulations over the last decade. 65,000 people have taken on the identity of one of the core families that helped us create COPE. So the decisions that one family made and shared with Think Tank become the decisions of thousands of people across the country. Now there are some important tenets that we ask our trainers to reiterate to participants in each COPE. One, COPE is a simulation. It is not a game. Simulations helped NASA astronauts land safely on the moon. Simulations help doctors perform and learn life-saving procedures before ever even touching a patient. COPE is a simulation to help us understand the realities of poverty and gain some insight and empathy and cannot be treated lightly. Two, the scenarios that are simulated in COPE are real people. So when we talk about a woman who had to make the decision to run an extension cord to her neighbor's house because her paycheck was just not enough to keep the electric on that month, that's a real person who had to make that decision. Think Tank believes that people in poverty can experience personal transformation and transform their communities. We can think about and respond to poverty differently. We bring leaders who are affected by poverty alongside leaders who are working to influence systemic change. Groups like corporations, healthcare systems, churches, and other systems of power in our country. In fact, sometimes the leaders who are affected by poverty and the leaders who are working to influence systemic change are one and the same. Poverty is a situation. It is not the sum of a person. That woman who used a payday lender to pay the rent, that woman who used an extension cord to her neighbor's house to keep the lights on because her paycheck was just not enough, I am that woman. And I can tell you from experience that there are leaders listening today who understand that there may be shame that comes from living in poverty, but there is also a power. Now, my story is just one penny, but my bracelet is a reminder to me to look people in the eye, to call them by their name, to suspend my ego or the agenda of my organization because all people have dignity and value, right? Now, this bracelet, it's also a reminder to me that those people who feel like they've been left on the ground, they too hold value. It's a visual nudge to me that 
My story matters alongside so many other people's stories, right? Each and every one of us has a purpose. Think about the thousands of people who are willing to share their experience. We must look to these courageous leaders and create connection to make lasting change.